More of the world's most bizarre adverts. Jim Davidson's commercial breakdown at 10.35 here on BBC One. The programme you're about to see was made just before the sad departure of David Seaman from English football. With his trademark laugh and crap hairstyle, David played at the top level for nearly 97 years before age and increasingly frequent bouts of being rubbish at Man City ended his career. In a touching ceremony, he was humanely destroyed by vets just before kick-off at Leicester on Wednesday. He will be sadly missed, especially by Brazilian strikers. A magnificent setting, two great teams, what drama here! And Seaman, what a magnificent save! Not good. Chaplin's got him. No way! Oh dear. Welcome to They Think It's All Over, with David and Rory as one of the best-known faces on British television, who's also a fanatical angler. He claims one of his biggest catches was a £50 carp, although we phoned a friend, and the correct answer was D, a £12 tiddler. It's Chris Tarrant. Thank you. With Phil and Jonathan is Britain's 200 metres backstroke world champion. She receives £20,000 a year in lottery funding, although they actually just send her five scratch cards and a good luck message. <laughs> it's Katie Sexton. <laughs> now we kick off with a handbags question. David, Rory and Chris, take a look at this. Here's England's rugby union coach, Clive Woodward, back in the days when he used to play the game instead of telling others how to do it. But since winning the World Cup, Sir Clive has had one or two verbal tiffs and, in particular, has slammed the BBC. So, David, Rory and Chris... Relax <laughs> <laughs> all night, isn't it? <laughs> What also, it is? It's going to be oh, 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 all that, isn't it? a whole half hour. Oh, oh. That's a, we'll count that as a lot. Oh, oh. Any of that? <laughs> what is Sir Clive's beef with the BBC? He is sick to death of turning on his television every time of day or night, finding bloody Jonathan Ross on it. <laughs> First of all, with a bit of respect, please, Tarrant. No. OK? <laughs> Secondly, you look like a unlike some tart. people, I've injured myself, I still turn up for bloody work. Yeah. <laughs> I... That's not that's what Slingy's wearing because he got injured. That is the black armband that all Man City players now have to wear. <laughs> I hurt my arm earlier, knocked in my dressing room through to Kilroy's old space. <laughs> I've got a lovely gaff now, and I've found some great Nazi memorabilia as well. I've got a fine collection. So you, you snagged it getting the ball out the net, did you? No, no, I, no. When I went off, it was actually nil-nil. You know, so I'm, I am going to claim the clean Yeah, but you did bonus. go off in the fourth minute. Yeah, 12 minutes. <laughs> He can't actually do the ponytail, can he? I can't, no. He has to have people no. to do the ponytail. No. It's no. true! No. Until his arm's better, he has to have people <laughs> to do ponytail. It's not a sportsman's look, is it? It isn't really, no. But then again... What, that? Well, not... <laughs> <laughs> it is, come on. Don't you ever watch the darts? <laughs> <laughs> so, welcome to Chris. Big welcome to Chris Taylor. Oh, thank you. Well, I came to meet Sue Barker, so what a bloody letdown this is turned out. <laughs> You've been decorated by Her Majesty, haven't you? Decorated? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! What have you got? OBE. MBE? No OBE. OBE. You've got the OBE. Oh, OBE. Mm. Well, what does that mean? You I have do? no idea. I don't know. <laughs> I only read it in the sun. I haven't had a bit of paper with the crown on. I don't know what it means. I think I can drive sheep, hopefully pretty ones, across Tower Bridge. <laughs> I didn't say, I've got an OBE, but I don't want to give you that. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't. It's going to be a whole half oh. hour, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, David's team. Sir oh, yes, Clive well, Woodward. Sir Clive um, Woodward. Something to do with the um, presentation of the... Uh, it's the... Um, the awards, the awards for the yeah. World Sportsman Cup winning. The, what's it? Sportsman of the Year. They got some... Yeah. They got uh, that chippy... Rolf Harris. Harris. I don't think you got Aussie that was out here. They got Rolf Harris <laughs> to give him the awards. Well, Skippy the kangaroo was ill at the, yeah. the broken collarbone. So they got... Uh, Campo. And that upset them, yes. Correct for three points. Well done, yeah. <laughs> you got three points for that. 
In fact, what a show. <laughs> she's three complaining. Points, you get three points, points for that. You get a thousand you quid on your show. Pizza, David, for knowing your name. Well, all right. <laughs> In fact, it was what happened at the BBC Sports Review of the Year that really got Sir Clive's ermine in a twist. When England won the Team of the Year award, the BBC thought it would be a cracking wheeze if pom-bashing Aussie David Campese handed over the trophy. Woodward was none too pleased. To choose Campese was an error, bad judgement and sums up British sport because they made a joke about the presentation. It was a crass decision by somebody. We can reveal that the BBC actually wanted Princess Anne to give Clive Woodward the award, but that proved impossible every time anyone tried to take the trophy off her, they were savaged by her dog. <laughs> Although it was last year, the nation will never forget the names of those 15 heroes who brought home the Rugby World Cup. Johnny Wilkinson, Martin Johnson, Ben Somebody, Nancy Delalio, and little Nobby Styles. <laughs> Phil, Jonathan and Katie, it's a footballing spat for you. Watch this. Here's short ass cheat Diego Maradona back in his pomp for Argentina. But in the last few weeks, Maradona has managed to fall out with the Buenos Aires Museum. But why, Phil's team? Before we start, Nick, can I ask you yes, to please. have a word with Roy for me? Yeah. Because on last week's show, for no reason whatsoever, he punched me. <laughs> <laughs> he has been unbearable ever since he won Pop Idol before Christmas. You should have a word with him. <laughs> Museums. Um, do you oh, Phil, calm oh, down. Okay. You're forgetting your manners. Let's welcome the lovely Katie oh, well, to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Katie Sexton. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the show, Katie. The world, the world champion. Mind you. World champion, you got the gold medal. Yeah. May I ask, where do you keep it? In a bag at home. <laughs> you see, I admire that. Some people show off. Every week, David comes in, he brings all the rosettes, he's won best in show every week. <laughs> Are you in training now for the Olympics then? Yeah. Okay, so what's training for you? Sort of how hard do you have to work at it? Very hard. <coughs> Very hard. About what? five hours a day. Five hours a day. And what time in the morning do you start? Half five. Well, it's hardly worth going to bed really then, is it? <laughs> no. So, so, so what do you do from night. half ten onwards? I go to bed. <laughs> well, why don't you just get up later? Yeah. <laughs> I read somewhere, Katie, that when you were actually in, in competition at one event, when you dived in, your, not trunks, I guess it's an all-in-one, was it a one-piece you're wearing? Yeah. It split somewhere. Yeah, it split just above my bum. Good lord. Have you got a big bum, haven't you? Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're enthusiasts, aren't we? If we could see some videotape footage of this, just to <laughs> improve our stroke, so to speak. <laughs> <laughs> But you swim on your back, don't you? Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> swimming. Were we on swimming? No. No. <laughs> I can't get it out of my so brain. It's, it's probably a stronger suit for you than museums, eh, yeah. Phil? <laughs> museums and Maradona. Did he, did he lend them some gear and then want it back? <laughs> sort of. I read in the papers today, is it anything to do with they're making a musical about Maradona? They certainly are. Well, they've made one. Have yeah. they? What's Mar it called? Coklahoma? <laughs> <laughs> he's he giving me his shirt or something, or his, no. his jock strap. No. He wanted his jock strap. It really, you've got, you've got to guess the item. Uh, a ball, gonna, football. I'm, football. I'm, I'm football. Gonna, football. A glove. No, I'm a gonna glove. Give a hat. You... He gave him an arm sling, he no. was pretending to be ill. <laughs> no, no. I'm going to give you one point for it being an object of Diego's. He's what? firm but fair, Katie. Bizarrely, <laughs> the Ferrari centres on a plastic penis. It was a penis. Well, oh. Thank you. Which once belonged to Diego Maradona. Apparently, Maradona never went anywhere without a plastic penis full of drug-free urine, which he used for giving urine samples. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> true. There you are. The There's penis had recently been on display in an Argentinian museum from which it was stolen, much to the annoyance of Maradona and the football authorities. Maradona's penis was a slightly unsettling exhibit. Visitors complained that the eye seemed to follow them round the room. <laughs> and at the end of that round, Phil's team have one point and David's team have three points. <laughs> round two is photo fit. David's team, here's yours. See if you can split that one up into three <laughs> different people. Is it Mark Lawrenson during his sugar babes period? <laughs> <laughs> the bottom bit is um, the show jumper woman. So it's, um, Princess, Princess Anne's daughter. Yeah, Zara, is it yeah, Zara Phillips? Maybe. How do you get that? Once I've got yeah. a beard, look. <laughs> <laughs> I 
got stud in her tongue. Yeah, she yeah. has got yeah. stud in her tongue. Yeah. Yeah. Do you reckon she's the only member of the royal family ever to have a stud in her mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get into that right now. Yeah. What about the air? The, the air's got bloody sideburns painted on or something, hasn't it? Mm. Hang on, look at this. Can no, I, look, I and also, no, put your little shell like it. Look at those. <laughs> Hang on, the other one's a bit... No, it is. Yeah, that's me. That's like 21 years ago. <laughs> See, that hairstyle's 21 years ago. The one you've got now is 31 years ago. No. <laughs> get across in 20. <laughs> <laughs> but is it true? Is it you? That, that could very well... Well, exactly. you look limp as a biscuit. I'm sorry, but did anybody get in the shower with you? <laughs> so you it's don't. David Seaman's hair, or whatever it was, <laughs> with Charles' mouth with the thing in the And who's that in the middle? It's, I reckon it's that... Um, Is it the fat dance player? No, it's that rugby player. <laughs> Which one? The, the um, revealed. Irish one. Wood. Keith Wood. Keith Wood. OK, so you think it's... Nick, Nick, Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give me the answer. Pause. Go to an advert break. Let's see how talent likes it for one, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> And he came over this side because you don't do adverts. <laughs> so he came to this channel. OK, welcome back. Uh, let's move <laughs> on. And see if you were right. Yeah, they've got three out of three. What we oh, saw there was... Yeah. Yeah. The youthful locks of Peterborough's promising young goalkeeper David Seaman. <laughs> Sex <laughs> case. <laughs> uh, the come hither eyes of Irish hooker Keith Wood and the pierced tongue of royal horse person Zara. It's not my dog, it's my mother's, Phillips. <laughs> Zara Phillips is one of our leading three-day eventers. Phil's a big fan of the three-day event. He starts off with the black horse, moves on to the red lion, and three days later, he wakes up married to Britney Spears. <laughs> with the retirement of Keith Wood, rugby has lost one of its great characters. Now it's just left with Johnny Wilkinson, Martin Johnson, Ben Somebody, Nancy Delalio, and Little Nobby Style. <laughs> In 1997, David here received an MBE for his services to English football, and in 2002, he received the freedom of Rio de Janeiro for his services to Brazilian football. <laughs> Don't clap, go away. OK, Phil's team, uh, here's your one. And see if you can make it into... Hang on! <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a young Gandalf, isn't it? Not. Gandalf, when he was a boy. <laughs> it's a gay Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Come on, two blokes living together in a flat in Baker Street. Even Watson could have solved that one. <laughs> the only pipe smoking t I know, apart from Rossi, <laughs> is David Bryant, the bowls player. Can maybe give the David Bryant answer with it without calling him a t Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, <laughs> just so we could use it. It seemed a little wanton on a gentle old man, we know. Who do you reckon the bottom bit is, Phil? Yeah. There's only one. <laughs> he can't do it, can he? <laughs> is the bottom bit the uh, pipe smoking... Oh, no. <laughs> Buffoon. Go on, Phil, have another go. Right, I think the bottom bit, the chin, is uh, David Bryant, the bowls player. No. OK. <laughs> I think the eye's in Thorpe. Oh, Ian good Thorpe. Shirt. Yeah, the yeah. torpedo. Very good, yes. Robert Pires, the hair. No. Who's got that? It must be a footballer or someone. It is the Archduke it Ferdinand is indeed, of Sarajevo. It is a footballer or someone. Right? OK, it must be. Uh, <laughs> Bobby Charlton. You you... <laughs> no, not <laughs> evidently not Bobby Charlton. <laughs> yeah, might not be Bobby Charlton or <laughs> Duncan Goodhue. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no, let's split it up and see who it is. You've actually got two points. That was the lustrous looking hair of knicker flogging oh, Islamic yeah, snooker yeah, caliph yeah. Ronnie O'Sullivan. The chlorine troubled eyes of beaky Aussie super swimmer Ian Thorpe, and the ever present pipe of bowls legend and chronic tobacco head David Bryant. Well Ian Thorpe is famous for his size 17 feet, which will no doubt power him to many swimming goals in this year's Athens Olympics. He'll also be involved in one other event. They're using his verrucas in the discus. <laughs> Last year it was reported that Ronnie O'Sullivan had converted to Islam. David Beckham also considered it, although he gave up after finding no spiritual wisdom in his copy of Kerrang. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of that round, Phil's team have three points and David's team have six.
So it's time to catch up on all the latest happenings in the blessed life of the Anointed One in our David Beckham Challenge. David's team, here's your first question. Over the new year, David Beckham acquired a new tattoo. What does it depict? He's got, um, I think he had left and right tattooed on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, unfortunately, he had left and right on both feet, so he's... <laughs> <laughs> it's something Christmassy, hey. isn't it? Mm, yeah, what what was it Angel yeah. or something? An Angel, oh, yes, well done. It's based on a work by Michael Andrew. Have you now, seen it? I've seen lots of his tattoos. You yeah, yeah, no, yeah. David, no, no, David has Twilight seen... Twilight World of David Seaman. He hasn't seen yeah. anyone. He has seen so many bits and pieces of just about every footballer in the country. No, he has. I know. <laughs> Thierry Henry is hung like a hoover. His work. <laughs> what? French what? hoover. What, he's got a three-pin plug on the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> that new tattoo takes David's uh, total number of tattoos up to eight. Can you name the other seven? Yeah. No. <laughs> and all credit is reflected onto you for that. He's got Thank you. Um, ginger crossed out, scary crossed out. <laughs> Sporty crossed out. Sporty. <laughs> he definitely has, um, what's she called? Uh, Victoria's uh, in a strange language. In, in Hindi. Sanskrit yeah. or Hindi. Yeah. He's right. got a Brooklyn Romeo. Yeah, three. He's got and he's got, he's got, I know he's got, he's got Christ on the cross. Yeah. Because David's got one similar. It's Christ, it's a cross! <laughs> 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 he's got love and cherish, yeah. Oh, he's got seven. two more. more. It's both involving number. He's got the number seven. Oh, seven. Seven. Number seven. seven is perfect. That's it. You've got all of them. Well done. Another point. You are deeply sad people. Okay. <laughs> Beckham spent a total of nearly four million pounds on Christmas presents. What was the big present that he bought? Four million. Four, four million four pounds. Million. Was it a four million pound book token? <laughs> <laughs> that, that is the most <laughs> unlikely <laughs> answer, <laughs> isn't it? Really. It's going to be a, a, a plane or a, a jet or a house boat, or a no. yacht. Boat. boat. Boat's good. Give me the name of the boat and I'll give you the point. SS Victoria. <laughs> SS for shit single. Brooklyn Victoria. Turn it the other way around. Brooklyn, Brooklyn Romeo. Brooklyn Romeo yeah. is the name of his boat. Well done. You don't get a lot for four million. No, you? not these days. <laughs> What did the Little Beckhams buy their mum? For oh, Christmas? for God's sake. They're two and three or something. Well, you know how it works. Obviously, Daddy goes out and gets it. And, uh, He's already spent four million this quid. Is what, this was a present for mum from the boys. Not for Dad, just for mum. Just for mum. Was yeah. it an arse? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a million copies of her song to try and get to the more. No, that would be <laughs> the best. <laughs> That's good, yeah. Romeo and Brooklyn person, bought, oh. their mum, bought their mum a... Washing machine. A Bentley Continental what? GT. <laughs> £140,000. OK, despite their uh, vast expenditure, the Beckhams had a fairly normal Christmas, yeah. including a huge turkey, which Mum insisted on playing them after lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Phil's team. OK, this is for you. David and Sir Alex Ferguson have only spoken to each other once since his transfer from Manchester United to Real Madrid. What did they say to each other? I bet he said, I know what he said. I bet uh, Ferguson said to him, Brooklyn and Romeo, now write them down and stop calling me. <laughs> that is. Good. Did you say hello? Yes, what, correct, for one point. What did a journalist present to David Beckham just before the recent Barcelona Real Madrid match? Please. Blow up Gary Neville. No. <laughs> Although they must be missing each other, oh, mustn't they? He had great fun blowing it up. Yeah. <laughs> did he give him a golden donkey? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know when they breed a, a donkey and a horse together? You get a mule, don't you? Yeah. Well, why do they call it a mule? If it's a horse and a donkey, it should be like a honky, shouldn't it? <laughs> Mules don't know that they're the product of this unholy alliance. Right. It, it's, it's, you know, unfair on them. Yeah. So they're looking around, they're thinking they can make merry with other mules and make mules. They can't. Right. It's only when a horse and a donkey do the jiggity-boo. Yeah. And then another honky comes out. Yeah. <laughs> so right. what if two mules get it together, what comes out? They explode. <laughs> That's sad, but sadly, that's not the answer I've got on the card. <laughs> what award did you what get? What award? For um, best hairstyle in Spain. Best I'm going to give you a point. He got best haircut in Wales, what? bizarrely. In Wales. 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 Who knows why? Which company wanted to put by appointment to David and Victoria Beckham on their products? Oh. Blue Nun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the answer is Nestle. What is the one thing that goalkeeper turned journalist Hugo Gatti said he disliked about David Beckham? His complicated yet accurate interpretation of the European monetary situation. <laughs> I think you'll find if you check your notes, that's the answer. 
his wife. His wife is correct. Well done, Katie. Well done, Katie. One point. Yeah. He actually said uh, that it was his wife. She's stiff and arse faced. She looks like a boiled potato. <laughs> and so at the end of that round, Phil's team have six points and David's team have nine. Time to funnel the famous now as we play Field the Sportsman. Phil and Jonathan, it's your go first if you'd like to take your positions. You will have a suitable amount of time to work out who it is. Nick, I can't. Strayed between you. I can't see very well out these glasses. Can I just wear these instead of the. Uh, no. <laughs> glasses off, blindfold on. Okay, can we have our first mystery guest, please? Your time starts now. Well, like this. It's yeah. cool, isn't it? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I... What's this? Oh. <laughs> Whoever it is, they're wearing big shoes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is there an ironing board or something? Where? <laughs> oh, no. I've got an arm up here. I what? think I've got come up here. I think it's a lady. Have you got a uh, well this lady? I hope you have. This lady's rubbery. <laughs> My compliments to the chef. <laughs> What's that? I've got a sail here. It's on sale. She's on sale, this lady. What's going on here then? I'll I've got a sail here, mate. This is a um Hold on. Windsurfer. Is that is that a lady surfer? Oh, yeah, it's windsurfer. Ladies British champion world expert at windsurfing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tempted to give you that. It is, in fact, Louise Emery, the UK Triple Crown windsurfing champion. Well done. Well done, Phil. Well <laughs> Poor David's not very well this week, so we've decided to give him a rest. So, Rory and Chris, could you please take Oh, because he can't do it because he's got, no, he's got a broken collarbone. So I'm rather pleased to have you You've up there. Been a serial groper for years. Oh, it's a rare yes. privilege, you know, Mr. Terence. Oh, good. So I get a chance. <laughs> it'll be some big hairy wrestler, won't it? <laughs> now, here's a trick learned. Don't, Don't put, put it on before on. you go. <laughs> <laughs> you get him out there. <laughs> <laughs> right. Trick learner. You know what? It took Gary Lineker went four <laughs> series before working that. <laughs> okay, blindfolds on. Okay. And can we have our second mystery guest, please? Your oh, time cheering. starts oh, no. now. Oh, hello. No, they won't be women because we're they, they, two women. Oh, hello. It's oh, a hello. short one. It's a Shetland pony. What's this one? <laughs> Hang on. Good lord. No, I, no. I... I've got a very short. Well, they're person. all short. <laughs> Just seven dwarfs. <laughs> what have you got there, Chris? I'm not sure. I think we have a lady holding. It's Madame Whiplash from that party. <laughs> the one at Frank Boff's house. She's oh, got, she's got something, <laughs> something firm oh, and rigid oh, in her hand. Yeah. What the hell is it? So hang on, it's 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 short women with long with poles. poles. Yeah. <laughs> Are we talking? Oh, no, sorry. Oh, talking <laughs> sorry, it's short seated women with long poles. They got short seats. Well, because <laughs> no, they're like that's why they're so short. <laughs> There's a smell of old bream about the place. That may be me. <laughs> you now think it is? Yeah, yeah. yeah it could be her. Right? I'm frightened of touching a box full of maggots. <laughs> It's, it's ladies. No. I know who they are. Are they, are we talking... Someone's just jumped across your party. It's, um, it's the lady, the English ladies fishing champion. I think you're now world I think they're the world They champion. are indeed. The it's ladies English world freshwater world angling champion. Really 
to speak to. <laughs> so, at the end of that round, Phil's team have nine points and David's team have twelve. Fashion. We finish the show with the name game. The team in the lead goes first, which is David's Ooh. team. Pass those along to Rory, please. And your time, however long it may be, starts now. This is oh. a Canadian tennis player tested positive for maple Greg syrup. Greg Rosetsky. Um, this is um, a big, it is sold by your club to the team that beat you 48 hours oh, later. I'll be the best. That's on indeed. Now this is uh, this is a woman about oh, so this is a person who um, was it a woman? caught yeah who caught a sixty four pound. Tr tr uh, I know this woman, uh, Ballantyne. First uh, name Georgina, Georgina Ballantyne. Very good, indeed. Very good. <laughs> this is um, a Spurs uh, manager who drove very slowly around the streets of Luton. <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, this is a British rally driver. He's got the same name as uh, the um, Whittock. Whittock. Yeah. And first name famous is. David. Dave Whittock, very good well, rally driver. How did we get there? This is a fictional fly fishing author. Have you got my book? Oh, J.R. Hartley. Harley. <laughs> now, this is, if, if, you're not, if you're not sad, you are. Happy. And if it's not a mountain, it's a. Molehill? No, it's not a mountain, it's a. You know, the high bits are a hill and the low bits are Bale. Valley, Happy Valley. And if you spell pate without the E in, but, but with a U. <laughs> Happy Valley Patu. Very good. This is. Uh, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> 11 needed. We need to get Phil's always rubbish at this, it's up to you. <laughs> so okay. we need to get another 11 now. Another 11. Oh, another 11 now. Come on, Ross. Easy. You can do this. Sad. Easy. Your time starts now, Jonathan. Right. Okay, in the 90s, the famous dance band Snap had a single that went, I've got the. I've got the. <laughs> I've got the. Clap. I've got the. I've got the. <laughs> I've got, no, I've got the... Power! <laughs> I was doing it all right. Stop! He's a dark player. He's a dark player. Yeah, uh, power. power, Phil Taylor. Phil the Power Taylor. Taylor. Okay, uh, let's keep with the songs. They're working. Edwin Starr, no longer with us. He had a song that went... What is he good for? War. Absolute war. Okay, first name... Mark War, Steve War. Steve War, well done. All right, okay. Um, I am not a woman, I am... Bisexual. No! <laughs> This is the first name. Never mind that. You're not a woman, you're a man. A man, right? And the oh, second man, name then. is. <laughs> some, some people grow yes, the beard. The beard, well done. Okay, this is a boxer. Uh, well, children play this game something and seek. Hide. And it's the name of the love bug in the Disney movies. You're Maybe. mental, aren't you? No, it's the name of the love bug. That was too hard. Who's heard of Face the Iron Bug? Face the Iron Bug? Who's Face the Iron Bug? Okay, so at the end of that, Phil Sim have 13 points, but this week's winner is David's team with 19. <laughs> so thanks to David, Rory, and Chris, Phil, Jonathan, and Katie. My name's Nick Hancock. They think it's all over. It is now. <laughs> There's another chance to see William Hague in the chair for Have I Got News For You on BBC Two now. Here on BBC One, Jim Davidson's commercial breakdown is after the news. Now, if you're a budding sports writer, why not enter a special competition? For more details, log on to bbc.co.uk slash 5live.